In Pakistan's northwestern mountains, a massive construction site operates around the clock. Over 8,000 workers are racing to complete what will become one of South Asia's most strategically significant infrastructure projects, a hydroelectric dam with a $2.2 billion price tag that could fundamentally reshape the region's energy and water security landscape. Six years into construction, the Momen Dam has now reached its most critical phase, and its implications extend far beyond Pakistan's borders. Pakistan ranks as South Asia's second most populous nation, home to 240 million people whose electricity demands continue to surge year after year. In 2023 alone, the country consumed 104 terawatt hours of electricity. Yet this staggering figure still falls dramatically short of what the nation actually needs. The power deficit currently exceeds 5,000 megawatts, leaving roughly 40% of Pakistan's population without reliable access to electricity. Even in Islamabad, the capital city, summer blackouts have become so routine that residents plan their lives around them. In rural regions, power availability remains unpredictable at best. Hospitals stock diesel generators as essential backup equipment, knowing the grid cannot be trusted. This chronic energy crisis extracts a brutal economic toll. Daily power outages average between four and six hours nationwide, while industry analysts estimate that electricity shortages drain approximately 5% of Pakistan's entire gross domestic product each year. The root of this crisis lies in Pakistan's limited thermal power resources and its heavy dependence on hydroelectric generation from the Indus River system. The largest dam affecting this crucial watershed is the Baglihar Dam, which boasts an installed capacity of 969 megawatts. But there's a critical problem. This dam doesn't sit on Pakistani soil. India controls it completely. This geographic reality means that a significant portion of Pakistan's energy lifeline rests in the hands of its neighbor and geopolitical rival. Should India decide to restrict water flow through the Chenab River that feeds downstream Pakistani regions, the consequences would be catastrophic. Power outages could extend beyond 12 hours daily in major cities, crippling infrastructure, halting industrial production, and devastating ordinary citizens' quality of life. Pakistan needed a solution that would reduce this vulnerability, and they found it in the Swat River. The Swat River's dramatic elevation changes create ideal conditions for hydroelectric development. Pakistani officials had long envisioned constructing a major dam along this waterway, but the technical challenges and financial requirements, estimated at over $1.5 billion, exceeded the country's capabilities, particularly given its perpetual budget constraints. This is where China entered the picture, continuing a pattern of infrastructure cooperation between the two nations that spans ports, highways, energy facilities, and transportation networks. September 2019 marked a turning point. After extensive negotiations and technical assessments, China and Pakistan formalized an agreement worth $1.7 billion to build the Mohmand hydropower facility. Under the deal's terms, China would shoulder roughly 90% of construction expenses, with Pakistan's government covering the remainder. The response was swift. Within three months of signing, more than 200 Chinese engineers and technicians had deployed to Pakistan, while hundreds of pieces of heavy construction machinery arrived at Pakistani ports via cargo ships. The Chinese engineering contingent immediately began comprehensive surveys of the Swat River, a tributary flowing into the mighty Indus. What they discovered was a geological nightmare. The canyon terrain featured complex fault lines, fractured rock formations, and precipitous mountain slopes. Heavy rainfall struck the region frequently, raising serious concerns that large-scale river diversion could trigger mudslides and landslides. The Chinese teams adapted quickly. They detonated more than 100 tons of explosives to blast through unforgiving mountain rock then deployed specialized crushing equipment to break massive boulders into manageable pieces suitable for construction purposes. 
To address weather-related risks, engineers implemented China's Beidou Satellite Navigation System for continuous meteorological monitoring. This system provides real-time alerts when heavy storms approach, allowing construction crews to evacuate to safe zones before conditions deteriorate dangerously. These precautions paid off. By August 2022, after nearly 12 months of intensive work, the team successfully completed the river diversion project, redirecting the Swat River's flow as planned. But completing the diversion was just the beginning. The construction site presents extreme environmental challenges that would defeat less experienced teams. Summer temperatures soar to 50 degrees Celsius, while winter snowfall can completely shut down road access. Chinese engineers deployed cutting-edge solutions to maintain progress despite these obstacles. They operated unmanned rollers with precision guidance from Beidou satellites, achieving compaction accuracy within 2 millimeters for each stone layer. For the riverbed's 94-meter-thick layer of loose sediment, they implemented a sophisticated combination of concrete anti-seepage walls and curtain grouting to strengthen the dam foundation's waterproofing capabilities. Environmental protection remained a priority throughout construction. The Chinese teams planted extensive tree coverage across the construction zone and established ecological fisheries to minimize the project's impact on local ecosystems. As these technical and environmental challenges fell one by one, the Momond hydropower station advanced into its most intensive construction phase. The project's specifications are genuinely impressive. The dam follows a concrete face rock fill design, standing 213 meters tall and stretching 717 meters in length, with a crest width of 12 meters. Total installed generating capacity will reach 800 megawatts, 110 megawatts more than India's notable Baglihar facility. Upon completion, the station will produce 2.9 billion kilowatt hours annually sufficient to provide consistent electricity for approximately 1.5 million households. Power generation represents only one dimension of this project's value. The Momen Dam will also deliver irrigation support, drinking water distribution, and flood control capabilities. Its water resource management functions are particularly significant. The facility's total storage capacity will reach 1.8 billion cubic meters enabling delivery of 150 million cubic meters of drinking water each year to surrounding communities while irrigating 20,000 hectares of agricultural land. Economic analysts project the dam will generate direct economic benefits exceeding $400 million annually. Yet this apparently beneficial infrastructure project has triggered deep strategic anxiety in New Delhi. To understand why requires examining India's historical control over the Indus River system. India's geographic position in the upper watershed regions gives it command over approximately 65% of the Indus Basin's total water flow. This upstream advantage provides India with the ability to weaponize water resources during political confrontations. Before the Momon project, India had constructed 12 dams across three western tributaries of the Indus system, including the Jhelum and Chenab rivers, maintaining firm control over these vital water sources. In May of this year, India's Ministry of Water Resources unilaterally announced suspension of the Indus Waters Treaty, a foundational agreement governing water sharing between the two nations. Satellite remote sensing data revealed that six key sluice gates in India's Jammu region closed almost simultaneously, causing water flow in several major rivers flowing through Pakistan's Punjab province to plummet by 89%. Approximately 4 million acres of wheat crops faced drought conditions. Along the lower Chenab River, exposed and cracked riverbeds appeared within days of India restricting the water supply. Although both sides eventually negotiated a ceasefire, India has not resumed full compliance with the Indus Waters Treaty. The Momond hydropower station, once operational, will significantly diminish India's leverage over water resources. Unlike conventional hydroelectric facilities built on main river channels, Momond sits on the Kabul River tributary, which originates in Afghanistan. 
This strategic positioning allows Pakistan to avoid direct dependence on India's control of the upper Indus River. Even if India implements extreme measures to completely cut off downstream Indus water supply, Pakistan's reservoir and regulation infrastructure, including Momand, could sustain basic water and electricity needs in critical areas for at least 60 days. Additionally, another Chinese-built facility, the Neelam Jelam Hydropower Station, provides regulation storage capacity of 8.2 billion cubic meters, equivalent to 1.3 times India's potential annual water interception volume. This means Pakistan can now construct a comprehensive water resource defense system with Chinese technical assistance, using tributary regulation to offset main river manipulation and gradually reducing the threat posed by India's upstream control through enhanced storage capacity on tributary waterways. Beyond energy security and geopolitical considerations, the Mohmand project delivers tangible improvements to local communities. Pakistan's economic instability has created persistent unemployment, particularly severe along the Swat River corridor where more than 30,000 residents have long struggled to find stable work. The dam's construction has generated over 8,000 direct and indirect employment opportunities for the region. Food security represents another chronic challenge for Pakistan. Devastating floods in 2022 destroyed approximately 4.5 million hectares of productive farmland, leaving vast tracts abandoned and agricultural infrastructure in ruins. Many farmers responded by over-extracting groundwater to maintain cultivation, causing water tables to drop precipitously. The Momond facility is projected to increase annual grain production by roughly 180,000 tons. More fundamentally, it will play a crucial role in transforming Pakistan's energy mix. Thermal power currently dominates Pakistan's electricity generation, representing about 50% of capacity, with fossil fuels including oil, natural gas, and coal accounting for more than 60% of total installed capacity. In 2024 alone, Pakistan imported 3.14 million tons of petroleum products, reflecting a 16.8% year-over-year increase. According to project planners, Momon's stable output of 2.9 billion kilowatt-hours of clean electricity annually represents a significant step toward reducing Pakistan's fossil fuel dependency. The Momond Hydropower Station functions as a key component of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, a broader strategic initiative linking the two nations through infrastructure development. In the current tense geopolitical environment, if India attempts to disrupt critical corridor nodes such as Gwadar Port or other transportation arteries through military pressure or asymmetric tactics, the reliable energy supplied by Momand will serve as essential insurance for maintaining Pakistan's economic resilience. From a strategic perspective, this project represents a vital fulcrum for countering India's geopolitical coercion and preserving regional balance of power. Should future conflicts emerge, Mohmand achieves a strategic countermeasure through technical means, securing domestic energy independence while stabilizing the foundational pillars of China-Pakistan economic cooperation. The dam's concrete panels continue rising meter by meter, approaching their final height of 213 meters. Chinese and Pakistani workers coordinate across multiple construction zones, aware they're building more than just a power station. They're constructing a shield against water weaponization, an engine for economic development, and a symbol of infrastructure cooperation that transcends the traditional donor-recipient relationship. When water finally fills the reservoir and turbines begin spinning, 1.5 million Pakistani homes will receive their first taste of reliable electricity. Farmers will irrigate crops without depleting ancient aquifers. Industries will operate without fearing the next blackout. But perhaps most importantly, Pakistan will have demonstrated that geographic disadvantage need not equal perpetual vulnerability. Through strategic infrastructure investment and international partnership, nations can engineer their way toward greater autonomy.
The Mohmand Dam stands as testament to a simple but powerful principle, control over essential resources, whether water, energy, or food, determines not just economic prosperity but national sovereignty itself. As climate change intensifies competition for diminishing water resources across South Asia, projects like Mohmand may well represent the difference between stability and crisis, between development and dependency, between a nation that shapes its own destiny and one whose future remains hostage to the decisions of others.